Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a new aquarium light by Frock Aquarium. It's a fairly new brand and I haven't seen many people use it before, but I've got a parcel in the mail and I think this is the light right here. Um, so it's going to be a first impression for me as well. I haven't seen the light in person at all, only a couple images online. So this is the box. Let's get started. Um, let's just dig in. Oh, this is actually a really difficult. <laughs> this is really thick. This one came over the way from uh, China, so it's came a long way. Now the box is open. Let's just pull the Frock Aquarium light out. So let's dig into the box right here. Oh, so it opens this way. That's quite nice. So we have... We have a little QR code right here for the aquarium. They don't have an app right now, but they will have an app eventually. We've got a nice picture of a tank with the the Frog Aquarium light, a little bit of information about the light lighting, they're, they're naming it, and the light itself in the box. So let's just go ahead and pull the light outside of the box. Whoa, those are the, um, the lighting uh, stands are actually already on the light itself. Um, got a power cable. So, first impressions. It's nice, it has like a, a matte um, finish. Um, and we have Sort of like a matte um, diffusion shield there for the lights. Everything's metal. Okay, yeah, so we have uh, the lighting bracket here. This looks like to be adjustable with these two screws right here. And you can actually, instead of using these legs, you can use a hanging kit. So this can be hanged from the ceiling or a hanging kit above the tank instead of actually being placed upon the tank itself. We seem to have like a frock logo sign right here. Um, we have some sort of like heat sink along the top. So this will help cool the light down over long durations of uh, period of being used. Um, and yeah, so just like a really nice light. So let's see what else we have in the box here. More packaging, another box within a box. So this, this is the power cable seem to have some sort of a receiver here. So I guess this is, we have a remote, I believe, somewhere. So there's a little tiny remote, but the remote will be replaced um, eventually this year with um, some sort of uh, app. So you'll be able to control it all from your phone. But yeah, so we have the receiver, the, um, the block right there, the power block. What else do we have in here? Some little adjustment screws. So I guess that's for the light itself, um, the hanging kit, we have, wow, we actually have the hanging kit wires itself. That's really, really neat they include this because I would say something like this is probably, sh should be an accessory, a paid accessory, but they've given us this. So if you want to hang it from your ceiling, you can. If you want to use a hanging kit that you already have or buy one, you can do that and you don't have to buy the wires. And we have a UK power, um, yeah, plug. Um, I actually thought this was going to not be UK or even EU, but luckily they've given me a, a UK power plug, so I'm really happy about that. I don't have to find a new cable or find any adapters. So now that we've had a look at the lights, we're going to have a look at the box itself. I think I missed this, and we probably missed a few key key facts about the light itself. So once again, but the light is called Frock Aquarium. It's an aquarium light, obviously. It's LED. It's, uh, it says RF controllable, dimmable, so you control it from a controller um, and, and it's dimmable. Um, you can program it, I think. Um, I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to look, have a look at that later. It's RGB colors, so it's red, green, blue, um, uh, mixed colors. It's adjustable in length, so if your aquarium is like 65 centimeters, you'll be fine. Um, or whatever the, the lighting kind of length you buy. This one is a 60 centimeter light. Um, it's suitable for a variety of plant growth, it says. So that's good. Um, there's no other information on the box itself, I don't think. Nope, I'm lying. 
They does say it says up to 50,000 hours of long life. It says that it is DC 24 volt driver safe, no electric shock. Um, 80% saving compared to the traditional light, so I'm assuming they're talking about fluorescent tubes, maybe? I'm not sure, like, you know, the energy saving compared to an LED compared to the fluorescent tubes. Um, or maybe something else, I'm not exactly sure. Um, switch control, RF control, um, app control. The app control, as I said earlier on, is not available yet, but it will be somewhere midway, half, midway through this year, I think. Um, we've got multiple color selection and light dimmable, as we said. Green light source without ultraviolet and other toxic elements. So we've got some images on the side um, of some fish and all that information. On the other side of the box, we've got a QR code. And yeah, it says uh, two feet frock T1 light. So they do have, frock do do different, they do do, <laughs> they do different lighting intensities, different levels of light, similar to other brands in the market. So they have the T1 lights, and I believe this is the, um, the highest lighting, the, the, the best light they produce. They also do, I think it's called, uh, it doesn't matter, it's like a medium light. So it's like, a, it's like similar to the T1, I think it looks exactly the same, it's just a medium uh, intensity light. So let's just have a quick look at that. Uh, yeah, so the Frock T1M RGB is the medium light. This is the Frock T1 RGB, the, their, their most, uh, their, their higher end light, I suppose. The T1M actually looks exactly the same as this. It's just not as powerful, I believe. And they also have a Frock P1 RGB, and it is a smaller light, which sort of looks like that. So you've probably seen something similar like this on the market with other brands, um, but the P1 is a smaller light for smaller aquariums, unlike the other two uh, models. So one key thing about the light itself, um, we have the remote, as I said, we do need batteries for this uh, remote. And the batteries you need for this remote are K, no, sorry, CR2025 batteries. So I've got some CR2025 batteries. Um, and I'm just gonna put them in the remote right now. You don't have to film this, but... <laughs> How do you get this thing open? So after struggling to try and get this thing open, you have to kind of put like a pull? No, you have to pull the thing out, but also you have to kind of uh, push it inwards as well. So there's a little tab on the side of it. You have to push this in, uh, push this sideways, and you have to pull this out to get the battery section out. Then we'll just put a battery in. And then we'll just put this back in the remote. Hopefully that's the right way around. Um, surely it is. Nope, that's the wrong way around. There we go. So the next thing is, let's just try and plug it in, I suppose. Um, I've got these two little connectors. There we go. So, that is, that is a fancy colour. It just seemed to cycle through some colours there, so let's have a look at the remotes. So I think it'd be a good idea just to have a quick look at their website, read it through a few of the things on their website that I might have missed so far. Looks like they have a three year warranty, so that's great. Um, let's have we look more. Uh, wireless control, yep. Tool set, it just tells you what you, what you have in the package, a wee bit about the light. Um, the different sizes, so this is the T160. This one is 600 by 130 by 132 millimeters, and uh, that's how big it is. We've got a length of two feet, 60 centimeters, obviously. It's got 60 watts of power. Um, this specific specific one, if you were gonna go for the 45 centimeter, looks like it has 45 watts of power, the 90, 90 watts of power. That might, that seems a bit interesting that it's, uh, it matches the uh, length of the light. 
it could well do. Um, um, suitable for aquariums, so this is interesting. This light, although it's a 60 centimeter light, it can go up to 70 centimeters. I suppose if you're hanging it over, a, you know, if you're hanging it with the hanging kit, you could put it over another tank, you know, um, of like 90 centimeters, although the light might not cover the whole tank. But uh, if you're using the legs itself, it will extend to uh, 70 centimeters. Um, it says that it's 4,300 lumens, and that, that just tells us how bright it is to our eyes. It's nothing to do with how the plant perceives the light. It's just how um, the human eye perceives the light itself, how bright it is. That's what lumens is. It's a common misconception. We could go into it, but let's keep it simple. If we're going to talk about how strong the light itself is for the plants and not just for the human eye, uh, for lumens, we're going to be talking about PAR, P-A-R, um, and uh, this is this is a measurement of light um, that we can we can use to determine how strong the light is at different levels below the water surface and how strong it is for our plants. Um, so that's a better uh, measurement than uh, lumens because lumens is just you know how strong it is to our eyes. But I guess lumens is an important uh, piece of data because we all want the the the, bright, the light to look bright and um, the the tank to be lit up and look beautiful. So that seems to be the only um, data on the page itself for the T1 RGB light when you click on it. There might be more on the website there, but not on that page itself. Anyway, so we've had a look at the data, we've had a look at the box, we've had a look at the light itself and the controller, we've plugged it in. Let's get it on a tank and have a look how it looks on one of my tanks. Okay, so we've got the light on the tank here. We're gonna just press the button and switch it on. So it looks like when you press it, it does different lighting intensities. Hey guys, just a quick little uh, sidetrack here. Um, I want to just mention that once you press the on button, you've got to wait until the light ramps up to full intensity before you can then use the controller itself. Um, I forgot to add this, um, it's in the instructions. Um, so just an important little thing, press the button once, wait till it ramps up to full intensity, then you can start playing around with the remote. You can dim it down if you wanted to, or dim it, or, or increase the light intensity. Um, we could also change the colors. Um, that's definitely interesting. I can see the blue shrimp getting bluer. Or we can dim down the reds, take the reds out. Bring the reds back in. And take the blues out. Wow, that's, a, that's an interesting color. Um, bring the blues back in. So that shows you how important blues are, I suppose. Um, and then you can obviously change, do the uh, the timer, which I will figure out soon. So I'm just trying to figure out how to work this light and the controller itself. I'm trying to look at the, the manual here, uh, what came with it. Um, it's not very clear. I'm, I'm kind of struggling to figure out how to work it. You know, the button says SW7. Not exactly sure which button that is, for example. I mean, after a while, I will figure it out. Um, I know you can change the colors. That's really cool. Um, and uh, you can cancel the timer. You can go through, a, hit the mode button. It'll cycle through different colors or something like this, I believe. Or it'll give you different modes. That's what it'll do. It'll give you different uh, colors of modes, so you can change it to whatever you think with the presets. Um, you can just reset it back to the normal. You can switch on and off, increase the intensity, decrease the intensity. Um, so all that's good. Where it comes to where I'm really confused is the timer. On the remote it says six hours and then it says minus one plus one. I understand that if you press the six hours, that's a six hour timer. Then I'll press the plus one twice and that would be an eight hour period. But what I'm confused at is, I have, this is this is just a test, this, you know, I have to test this tomorrow, I have to test this next week. Um, does this, I obviously have to put this on when I want it. So tomorrow morning, if I want the lights to go on at eight o'clock, I believe I'll have to come to the tank at eight o'clock, press the six hour, and then press how many hours minus or plus I want for the light duration. And then I'll have to see if it works the next day at that time. I'm not sure if you have to press it every day. Um, that's, it just hasn't made it very clear on the instructions. Or if I have to just press it the once tomorrow and then it just does it from there on. Um, so I have to play around with this. I'm confused with the instructions. I'm pretty sure there's something on the website. 
I'll have to go check that. So I'm looking on the instructions of the website. It tells you how to pair the remote with the light. Um, it's a, you know, you have to follow the instructions basically. Um, and it says it'll take one minute to reach full brightness from when you turn on the lights. That's totally fine. Um, it says the app is coming expected March 2022. That's great. Um, and then it gives you a link to some, um, uh, you know, unboxing for the light itself on YouTube, but it doesn't really tell me exactly how to use this. The unboxing might do. I haven't watched it in full yet, so I'm still, you know, not sure about the instructions. But overall, <laughs> we'll, put, we'll talk about the positives. Um, I will figure the, the instructions out. I will figure out how to use the light. It's just a bit of a learning curve, I suppose, at the start. Um, I think it's an improvement to be made, um, but it's an easy improvement, especially when the app comes out um, in the middle of this year. And um, the light itself, it's a great quality light. The, the materials they've used, um, the metals, the matte finish, really, really nice. Um, and yeah, I just have to play around with the colors, really, because um, you know every, everybody's eyes are different. Um, but anyway, overall, it's, it's very, very good. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to have fun playing around with it. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and also, if you don't know and I haven't mentioned it yet, remember the discount code that I have. It's Jordan10. You add it at checkout and you'll get 10% off, I believe. I do get a little kickback from that. But, you know, if you uh, like the light, if you see other people using it in the future and there's good reviews, um, then go ahead and uh, have a look at that. Um, thanks for watching, guys, once again. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.